Hello friends and potential friends. Well, I'm continuing the saga of building the Idaho raised bed garden. I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to post all of these videos, but at least I want them for my personal records. And who knows, there's a little bit in this one that uh, you haven't seen before. Some techniques that I haven't used before. But if I do decide to post it, I hope you enjoy it. So let's get into it.
Overcast and cool today. It was actually in the 60s when I got up this morning. We'll see a 40% chance of scattered showers today. And we actually got a little bit of rain last night, about 5-10 minutes. But I need to take advantage of these cooler temperatures and get some work done. Decided I'm going to level out this, next, this last section next to the garage but I'm going to keep it open for right now. Later on, we'll add a third raised bed right here. It'll just fit. And then we'll start working out to the towards me, adding more raised beds as Mom needs more garden space. But for now, I'm going to level that out and keep it open so that I can get to the dirt along the side of the garage. Because I need that dirt from the garage to level the rest of this out. Let's see what I can get done. chips and happy cows because I threw some of that grass mulch over the fence. Pardon the noise. My chipper friend is over there chipping up some more chips for me. And I'm out here spreading them around on the garden, making a good walkway and visiting with the cows. looks pretty good for the first layer of wood chips. Put them on a little bit light. See how far they would stretch. The walkways are covered around the first two beds. And I got a lot more wood chips left. I can start leveling some more ground. I'm going to wind up putting one more bed down there. There's just barely room for it. That'll be about three and a half feet to the garage. And I'm going to level all of this out here and 
glad I put three more. I've only got one out there right, right, right now. Got a total of four. But I can get a couple more shipped out here. Maybe get them installed next summer when I get here. And perhaps even continue leveling and put three more out beyond them. It's actually room here with four foot walkways. I believe I've got room for four rows of three or 12 raised beds right in this area. So I might have to leave one or two of them out in order to put a couple of IBC totes over there against the garage. Set up an irrigation system for the bed. That ought to work good too. We'll just pump water out of the ditch over here when the water's running into the IBC totes and then we'll use the IBC totes to water the garden beds. Yeah, I think this has got a lot of potential right in here. The beds that I put closest to the garage will have a little bit of shade early in the morning. But by about 10 o'clock in the morning they'll be in direct sunlight all day long. The rest of them, they're going to be in direct sunlight. We may have to push a cloth over some of them. But I think this is going to be a pretty good little garden back here. It's taking a lot of work and a lot of encouragement from my friends. But it's going to be worth it.